Hey guys and welcome to Mansoor Rig's 101 tutorial series. In this series I'm going to go over the basics of how to use Mansoor Rig to build your puppets. We're going to build a complete character from the ground up, so at the end of the series you will have a clear idea on how to use the product. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment below on how bad my accent is, which obviously is pretty bad. So let's get started. First of all, what is Mansoor Rig exactly? It's a rigging toolset for Maya equipped with a fully custom node library, so basically a one-stop shop for all of your rigging needs. The center of the product is a modular rig builder named Block that will allow you to build quality, production-ready rigs and fast. As opposed to any other rig builder, Block goes both ways, meaning you can build a puppet out of your guides, but you can also deconstruct the puppet back to your guide state. This method leads to a new way of looking at the entire rigging process. As I go through a short presentation of the system, I'll try to explain the working method and the main ideas behind the product. If you're unfamiliar with any rig builder, the general process of building a rig starts with placing guide objects that represent the pivots of a component, as well as the result behavior of this component represented as settings. Block is a modular builder, which means that the global result is based on the structure you created, instead of using predefined templates which in turn will allow you to build just about any puppet. On top of that, Block Rig breaks the conception of a single state structure. As the common method is placing guide objects that will dictate a single result, Block Rigs have two states. One is guide state and the other is puppet state, and these are interconnected. So instead of building the joint structure only when the puppet is built, Block builds the joint structure when the module is created switching the joint authority between the guides and the puppet controls, so you can go back and forth between these states as many times as you need, fine-tuning your settings without ever fearing of losing your build information. That also means that every rig is essentially a guide template as well. You can take any rig that was constructed using Block, even if it isn't your own, load it into Maya and simply deconstruct it to obtain the complete guide template along with the entire build information within it. Another strength of this concept is the ability to maintain the deformation data when switching between states. As the deformation driver, the skeleton, exists in both states, it is no longer needed to save or load deformation data when building puppets, as they are contained within the scene. Another great feature is that you can now pose your guides, allowing you to build your deformations at bind pose, which is best for rigging, and build your puppet at T pose, which is the best for animation. All of that combined with a fast performance custom node library to drive the rig, a user-friendly and intuitive puppets, an easy-to-use animation picker, and many other rigging and animation tools will guarantee your animator's satisfaction as well as allow you to enhance and enjoy the rig building process. And that's only the beginning. There are so many features, modules and tools I can't wait to share with you, so I hope you'll stick around for the rest of the series. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. And well, if you are, make sure to let me know how I can do better in the comments. If you still haven't installed Mansoor Rig, I included all the links and info you need to get started in the video description. I hope you enjoyed this short introduction. Please like, share and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.